Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Smith and I'm a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator and I am the Director of Lifestyle and Nutrition uh, working with Integrated Diabetes Services and I also have type 1 diabetes and use an insulin pump and kind of all of these worlds have shown me the immense benefit of precise carb counting especially when we use today's very smart pumps if we can give them all of the very specific information that's necessary for precise calculations that the pumps give to us then we can get that much better dosing of the insulin for all of the meals and snacks that we like to eat. And so today I wanted to share some of the really easy and very quick, familiar, easy to find tips and tricks for carb counting a little bit more accurately, especially if you find that you need to brush up on this. So one of the very first places that you can find easy information is right on the food label of most packaged products that are available. As you can see here on this food label, um, you can see that the serving size listed at the very top is a half a cup. That's the very first thing that's important to pay attention to because everything underneath that on the label is relative to that one portion size. Since we're considering blood sugar control, we of course really want to focus in on the total carbohydrate content. And in this half cup serving that's listed, 35 grams of carb are appropriate. The third important factor is dietary fiber, and you can see that there are four grams of dietary fiber in this half cup of food. So when we take all three of those things into account, dietary fiber is something that we can actually discount from the total carb count because it doesn't have an effect on our blood sugar, so there's no reason to dose insulin to cover that. With this product in particular, a half a cup, 35 grams minus the 4 grams of dietary fiber becomes 31 to count, and that's then what your pump is going to base the dose on. Um, of course, if we ate an entire cup of this, then we'd have to double that quantity. So it is really important, first and foremost, to pay attention to the serving size. One half cup, a whole cup, two slices, one piece. Um, make sure you're paying attention to the serving size and not just eating the whole box and thinking that that's relevant to what's under, net, under that on the label. Second really easy thing that you can definitely use are some of the really smart features that we now have um, the available use of on our phones, and those are apps. So one really, really great app is actually Calorie King. Readily available, you can see easy to use if you actually go right to the search engine within the Calorie King app. You can type in pretty much any food from its enormous database including restaurant foods and it's going to give you not only portion size but it's also going to give you the exact amount of carb. Another really nice one is the Carbs and Cal's app. Although it's not free, it's well worth the small small fee that you pay for it because if you are more of a visual person, it's going to actually give you a picture of food on a plate. You can compare that portion in the picture then to the portion that's on your own plate and clicking on the picture that's most similar to what the food size is on your plate, it's going to give you the exact amount of carbs based on that portion size. So again, if you're more of a visual person and you really don't like looking through tables and charts for information, this might really be key to improving your carb counting skills. Then of course there are a lot of different books that are available. Calorie King, again, is another one that has a hard copy book that's available. There's a really wonderful one. It's the Ultimate Guide to Accurate Carb Counting, which is done by Gary Shiner. And there are several that are also done by Hope Warshaw, who is a registered dietitian and a certified diabetes educator as well. So any of these would be wonderful resources to help get you a little bit more precise in your carb counting skills. Then what happens essentially when you don't have any of these tools available? You're in the middle of the desert and you have no connection to your internet and you have to eat, you know, whatever's available, cactus leaves or something. <laughs> well, essentially you can use something that's connected to your body, your fist. Essentially a fist is about a one cup measuring portion. And that portion can be used for many of our carb-based foods starchy vegetables, pastas, and rices. If we're doing starchy vegetables like mashed potatoes, it's about 30 grams per fist size cup. If it's pasta, whether it's wheat or white, 
that fist size is about 45 grams of carb. If you're doing rice, whether it's white or brown rice, that's about 50 to 55 grams for that fist size portion. So comparing that fist to what's on your plate, again, is a visual tool that's going to get you a little bit more precision. Then, of course, you can also use tools like common items, like a tennis ball. Most fruit doesn't come with a label, but if you compare the fruit to about the size of a tennis ball, as my apple is here, you can see they're about the same size. A tennis ball piece of fruit is about 15 grams of carb. So that applies whether it's an apple, peach, pear, plum, nectarine, whatever you like. Larger pieces of fruit, you can base it on what's underneath one hand. So as you can see my banana here, I have two hands around it. Most store-bought bananas are going to be about 30 grams of carb. 15 grams under each hand. You can do the same with a grapefruit or with a papaya or mango. Whatever fits under one hand is going to be approximately 15 grams of carb. Then you can move on to a little bit more precise counting and that uses tools. A tool that I find most beneficial, especially when I'm cooking and preparing in my own kitchen, is the Eat Smart Nutrition Scale. This catalog actually has about a thousand foods, each with a code value. You then place your food on the Food Smart Scale and you put the code number in and right on the face of this scale it gives you the exact amount of carbs as well as the dietary fiber. So I find it very beneficial again, especially for an apple. This is code number two. I put it on the scale. This apple actually ends up being 18 grams of carb but 3 grams of dietary fiber. So that gets us to that 15 which was again about the size of a tennis ball. So all of these tips and tricks can be really beneficial in offering precision that can make your pumping experience a little bit more beneficial. I hope that you've had um, gotten some good information today, and if you do have extra questions or anything, please feel free to reach out, contact me through Integrated Diabetes Services, and you can find us online at integrateddiabetes.com. I look forward to hearing from you, and happy carb counting!